everyone, I'm Transiri, and this video is honestly very improvised except for a few notes. I was going to do the next part of my Nuzlocke, but I decided to do this instead since I had the idea and, well, has been hotel is a bit of a big deal right now. So I figured this was a good time to do this video. Now, this is a thought I've had since, like, episode four of Hell of a Boss, I think. But is Hell a punishment? Really? So obviously Hell isn't the traditional Hell you might think of. It's more like the worst parts of Earth with some demonic flair. Now, once the first episode of Has Been Hotel came out, I decided to dismiss this theory since part of my basis for it was God actually being the kind of person who cares about all of humanity rather than just the good people. But then the first episode threw into question that there even was a God in the hell of a verse. But recently, I realized that maybe the theory still holds water because hell is a natural formation. It wasn't created with the intention of punishment. It wasn't created with any intention. It just happened. The first thing that made me reconsider this theory was what they call human souls who get into heaven. Winners. Now, obviously, this is meant to be like a fun rhyming scheme, sinners and winners, or winners and sinners sounds better, but it's winners and sinners, not winners and losers, which made me wonder, is hell even a loss? And when you really think about it, hell offers everything a bad person could ever want. Cannibals can eat as much as they want, and with the help of Rosie, they even have a functioning society. And it doesn't take any lives because sinners just regenerate, and even when there's nothing to regenerate from, they reform. Granted, it is slow and painful, but still. And it's not just cannibals. People who love the sound of screams, well, seven years ago, they could tune into Alistair's radio show. And any possible TV show you want, I'd imagine, is available for watching with the V's productions. And not only that, but with the help of IMP, which was created by Hellborn Imps, by the way, unfinished business doesn't even have to remain unfinished. You want power? Yeah, Hell's got that too, in spades. Sinners can easily, can, well, not easily, but actually, with the ambition, get insane amounts of power. Also, because the sinners of hell naturally regenerate, it almost seems like the bad effects of drugs don't affect them at all. We see Angel Dust in episode 4 come back from a rough night of drugs and, and sexual, sexual intercourse. intercourse. And aside from just, it was rough, he doesn't seem to be feeling any of the effects. Now, granted, hell is by no means a paradise. If you make the wrong decisions, you could end up as a slave to uh, someone like Valentino, which would not be great. But you can't deny, it's almost like hell is the equivalent of heaven for the sinners. Anything a bad person could want is at their fingertips, and they don't get judged for it either because it's hell! Everyone's a bad person! There are BDSM clubs with windows in the streets! Most people are generally accepting of other people, at least in terms of the non-acceptance we think about nowadays. And that brings up something else. In the pilot of Has Been Hotel, which, unlike the Hell of a Boss pilot, is canon, Katie Kiljoy brings up the idea that becoming a better person and going to heaven is a ridiculous idea that no one would care about. And if hell is enjoyable for most people, that would make sense. And in terms of the horrible stuff going on in hell, that does make it, well, hell. Heaven isn't without its share of corruption also. And... 
sinners may not be able to leave the pride ring, but that is in service to the extermination. That's not a rule of hell as a plane. That's a rule of hell as a government. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this theory video. Please like, comment, subscribe, pledge to my Patreon if you have the spare money, and until next time, matatare! Lights